Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to do some testing. We're going to do some PCIe splitter adapter testing, and we're going to see how many GPUs we can get running on this Asus Prime motherboard. But without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome! Today we're going to turn this beautiful Asus Prime Z390P motherboard from a 6 GPU motherboard into a 12 GPU motherboard using this little guy here. This is a 1 to 7 PCIe splitter adapter. It's got six of the USB three points on the top, one on the side for a total of seven. And we're going to see if we can convert this 6 PCIe slot into a 12 card board without further ado let's get this thing built all right here is our rig all set up all built ready for gpus let's take a look at this board this is the asus prime z 390p and as you can see it has one two three four x1 slots and two of the elongated x16 slots and we're going to go ahead and put this splitter here adapter into the main x16 slot when we build this out and that essentially will add six additional gpus into this board i also have a m.2 to usb pcie slot adapter in there all right quick intermission here on our build ran into a little bit of a pitfall if you will there's the motherboard that was in here this is the asus prime z390p and now we've switched to the asus prime z270-a why did we switch i've got this asus ko in here and got it installed and my screen kept flashing and i'm like okay what's going on so i started doing troubleshooting ended up taking all the components off after taking one by one and trying to segregate the issue and it is the board itself and I fried it. I fried the board. Right in here, let's see if it'll focus on my finger. Maybe right in there, there's two goldish copper spots. Yeah, that's the traces of the board. And what happened was this was overlapping onto the board. The metal contact right up here that holds these bands onto this server power supply breakout board scraped into the motherboard and it caused it to short out yeah three hours later and we're back and so since this board has a seven native slots on it <clears throat> we're no longer going to use this guy we're going to move to this guy this is a one to six pci splitter adapter instead of the one to seven pcie splitter adapter all right, let's get back to building. We already got this one card up and it's hashing away 62.5 mega hash on 125 watts, a very solid. And now let's go. All right, all right. So here we are, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six GPUs slotted in and all six GPUs are installed and showing in windows and hashing away with no errors finally and now it is time to use our adapter to move this from a six card rig up to a 12 card rig all right let's try to get this thing in one handed i'm gonna leave the io bracket on this thing and most of the time i take these off which usually you just take the two screws out and you pop the io bracket off at least on the one to four, I've always taken the bracket off. But here is our slot, and we're just gonna slip it into the main X16 slot here. And there, that gives us the six additional slots coming out the top, the USB threes. I don't like how much slop that has, and that might just be because of the previous owner of this board, it is a used board, could have had a heavy GPU in there. It was supposed to have the metal shield around the X16 slot, which is no longer present. Let's see if we can see down in there. You can kinda see down in there, but the metal shielding was completely gone, so it hasn't been taken well care of. The guy probably 
when he pulled out the GPU, when he went to sell it, probably pulled that metal shielding right off there. And it's caused a little bit of movement. So let's assess this and see if we think it's gonna be a good connection. All right, changing course again. I'm gonna use this one to six that I know works just fine. But the reason I'm gonna use it is it has a slightly thicker PCB on it. And I think it'll fit more firmly down in the slot than this guy. And this was the original plan, the one to seven with the other mother motherboard before we fried the motherboard. But since it's fried, we only need a one to six. I was gonna use this one. This one fits tighter into the X16 slot. So we're gonna see if we can put it in there and have plenty of room to get the USB threes plugged in because it is quite a bit taller. And if there's any issue with height, we could always revert back to this other guy. Let's go ahead and put it in there. And this, another interesting point is this actually has the longer slot in it where it may provide extra lanes, like eight lanes instead of like the X4 slot that has the very short slot like that. This actually has the longer slot, so I don't know if that makes a difference for extra lanes or not, but we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Oh yeah, see that has a lot less play in it. It's a lot more snug down in that X16 slot, but it does leave a little less room. It only leaves maybe an inch and a half to the bottom, well, probably two inches. It'll probably be plenty of clearance right there. So let's go ahead and start adding them one at a time on the top row. All right, so here we are. We've got 10 GPUs in here and we can't get 10 running on the splitter. Whenever I add the 10th one, it shows in Windows, but it shows like this and it says, this device cannot find enough free resources that it can use code 12 and it'll actually make two of the gpus a show with the yellow yield sign which is telling me i might have a limitation on the board with the bus itself so what i did was i went ahead and moved different ports around to try it and it would come up with the same result and i went ahead and would if i would unplug it back to nine it would instantly all show up and fully active let's take a look at it and so here it is it's kind of hard to see but i've moved it ports i had it into this port initially and then i unplugged it went back to nine and windows worked perfect then i moved it over to here same result so I don't know if it's gonna work at all this way. What I might do is I'm gonna put a different splitter down here. Put a one to four either on this one or this one. These are both X16 slots and just see, just in the name of science, unplug this guy, put a splitter down here and see if I get the same thing when I hit 10 cards and windows. It might be the board itself. The board might not let me get above nine. We're gonna figure it out though, let's give it a whirl. Actually, let's backtrack. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this splitter out and I'm gonna move to this other splitter. Let's switch splitters just for the sake of splitting. Let's change that one to six to this one to six and see if we can get more cards. Highly, highly doubt it, but let's do it. So we tried the other splitter adapter in the same location and no matter what I do, I can only get nine of the cards to read. It doesn't even show the 10th. This splitter would at least show the 10th card, but then it would disable the ninth card. So it would disable two of the cards and show all 10 in Windows. With this other adapter, I'm only seeing nine cards so as you can see i've switched the ports around and tried moving these guys around in different slots just to see if it would make a difference and i cannot get more than nine so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave that like it is well i'm gonna take it back down to nine so take one of these out and we're gonna put a splitter down here and see if i can get a 10th card or an 11th card or a 12th card i might be strapped 
to nine cards on this board. All right, so now we have dual splitters to get back to nine cards, and then we're going to try a tenth one and see what happens. There's three on this splitter, and there's one on this splitter. We're gonna add another one to this splitter and see if the tenth reads. All right, so there you have it. I've spent a way too much time on this. I've tried four different splitters in uh, different combinations. I've tried them in standalone. I've tried them in different combinations. I've tried them in different PCIe slots. I have changed BIOS settings. I've changed Windows settings. And no matter what I do, I can only get nine gpus to show in windows i can get that tenth one to show sometimes on a certain combination but when it shows it disables the eighth or the ninth and the tenth all right all right we are finished with our splitter testing fail project what did we end up trying for our last stitch effort we went ahead and updated the bios on the motherboard and enabled the 4G decoding, and we tried a number of other splitters, and we get the same result. We tried all of these splitters, we tried different combinations, we tried them in different slots on the board, we moved around the GPUs where they were plugged into the board, and the end result, nine GPUs. I'm going to mark it. This board, the Asus Prime Z270-P, can run 9 GPUs successfully in Windows with a splitter. No more. 9. That's all. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. We tried everything under the sun. We tried 5, 6 different adapters in different arrays, different combinations. And at the end of the day, the specific motherboard, the Asus Prime Z390P, I could only get nine GPUs to successfully run within Windows. But hey, it was a good experiment and we got to test out a couple of the new splitter adapters that have been sitting around that we've really wanted to try out. So all in all, a good day. Thanks for coming along with me. And if you have any questions or concerns, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.